the early bird gets the worm. Right. <laughs> We're early. Early's better than late. Ringy dingy, what's up, everybody? Don't they say that if you're if you're on time, you're late. To be early is on time. To be on time is to be late. There you go. So we're on time. What is going on? We wanted to come in a little early. Our friends are, know, are got done a little early. So I'm an important person. What? Your phone's going off? Oh, maybe it's my tablet. So no, our, our friends, Josh and Lynn, a little early today. So we thought we'd come on a little or start a little early. Yeah. What is going on? Uh-oh, my phone's blowing up, too. Oh, my goodness. Why is my phone blowing up? Oh, well, it's because Shep has the to mess with The mouse house me. is in demand. Mike oh, Wheeler, where are what you? What is going on? Uh-oh. Need to check on Mike Wheeler. I don't need, know. I need to call Pete Devitt and check on him today, too. What is going on, everyone? Happy Saturday. I hope it's a happy Saturday for you. I got another message in here I needed to check, too, Mama. Why don't you... Wow. Say hello to who's okay. here early with us. So, Tim Pruitt, it's it's all about the T's and, and a J. <laughs> Tim Pruitt, T. Marie Photography, Tina McNeil, Joshua Thompson, Michael Riley. Hello, good to see you. And Cold Drummer, thanks for being here. We are a few minutes early, so you'd never know. You always got to be, like, on your game. So, I got a gift that I want to show you guys. But we're going to wait just a few minutes um, before I do that. Good morning, Pearl Manhattan, because I want to make sure that she has a chance to pop in the chat so I can show off this amazing thing that I got in the mail. Um, it was super cool. So again, we love receiving things from you guys. A postcard. I've gotten some great postcards, some very touching letters, um, and, and often unexpectedly we receive a box with some treats inside. So it's kind of fun. We love it. If you're on the Myers and the Mouse mailing list, you should also be getting some little surprise mail, little what do they call it? Pixie dust mail from Mama Mouse um, because I send them out periodically to our subscribers. So if that's something you're interested in, um, make sure you send us a private message with an address that it can be mailed to, whether it be a PO box, your work address, your home address, wherever you feel comfortable. Um, I would be happy to add you to our mailing list and that, you know, it's going to be great and not a problem to do that until we get like 5,000 subscribers. And then I might have a hard time keeping up with the mail demand, but until then, enjoy the mail. What can I say? So car key, what's up? Great to see you. I'm listening, but can't watch. Okay. That's okay. Um, we'll do our best to describe anything we show so that you and Mike Wheeler can enjoy it as well. It's Joey's World. How is my favorite family doing? <clears throat> Surfer Girl, good morning. I think I've caught everybody. Team Marie Photography says, Lisa. Well, let's let's thank Dean from the live place. Absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Dean hosting well over a hundred um, amazing. YouTube channels right now. He is awesome. And he just notified us this morning that when we were on the live place with him, uh, there is now a podcast of our, oh. the rest of the story. And you can go to that by going to lifepodcast.net. Check us out there and see the podcast that we did with the live place and Dean over there. Make sure you uh, get a chance to check that out. We love it when you guys support Dean because Dean supports all of us and he's amazing. Absolutely. So. Uh, happy Hopper and Jersey Mike. Welcome in. Great to see you guys. It is. Welcome in. So is it time? Is it time? Maybe. What do you want to start with? Oh, oh, by the way, the thumbnail. Hi, Kevin. Yo, the best. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome and we appreciate you guys so much. We can't tell you how much we appreciate you. We really do. So somebody said, love the shirts. This Thank is you. from Mike Wheeler. He, um, this is one of those awesome surprises in a box that came. So he gave, he got this for me and this is brand new merch. That's been added to our merch line. Yes. I love this. Shirt. So we also have new hats and we have face masks. 
hat. And my hat. The hats are finally back in, and I have one on order. It's coming. I'm excited to get it. I'm really excited about that. Ladies, you can get really a Myers and the Mouse um, handbag, I guess. I don't know. I want to say purse, but it's kind of not that. You can get face coverings. You can get a face, yes. You can get your you face mask. You can get a face mask. You can get a, a bandana. You can get bandanas for your pets. You can get onesies for your babies. Support the Myers house, right? So thank you, Tina. We appreciate that. Just and the whole family. Kevin Myers, Myers is Myers. here. I know. Hi, Kevin. What's no up? No relation. <laughs> he spelled it wrong. <laughs> I had a, a pilot that I worked with many years whose last name was Myers. Myers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I will never forget. We went into a mission briefing and a colonel came in and looked at him and looked at me, looked at me and looked at him. And he goes, you guys related? And we did the whole Forrest Gump thing. We looked at each other, looked at him, looked at each other. And both of us at the same time went, we are not of relations. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. That kind of tells you, you what aviators are like on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> it is. Um, so, yeah. I. I uh, we are friends. That's right, Kevin. He says, that's nope, right. But we can be friends. Yes, we can. We Hi, that I happened. I <laughs> didn't do it. I it was me this time. I accidentally it. closed the wrong window. I apologize. Right. Thanks for hanging around. <laughs> God. Funnier things have happened, right? I always get blamed, though. Yeah, that one was me. 100% mama. You did do nothing. I pushed a button. So It's the Dizar dream curse of the stream. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah. Team Marie says now Papa's pressing buttons. Yes, yeah, I is. did. I'm sorry. He does. I'm sorry. So anyway, welcome in, guys. It's a great Saturday Absolutely. morning. We appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, everybody's like, oops, mama's rubbing it off on Papa. Mike Wheeler's in the house, everybody. What is up, Mike? Mike Wheeler reminded everybody to please share out the stream. We would love to have um, to share the Myers and the Mouse magic with as many people in the world as we can. So um, please feel free to share out the stream. <laughs> Introduce us to your friends and family. And maybe they'll enjoy Myers and Mouse as much as you guys do. Do you know when I say, I, who I want to say hi to? Um, who? All those people that aren't in chat that are watching us on the TV. That thank you guys. Weird. Thank you guys for being here. We know that there's several of you that watch the stream and you don't involve yourself in chat. And that's absolutely okay. We want you to know that we appreciate you being here as well. Thank you. Absolutely. I hope you're having a great day. That's uh, Mr. Willie. Hello, buddy. Great to see <laughs> the you. The truth finally comes out. Air Wolf is real a problem. <laughs> That's right. I have become the common denominator. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, my god. Mickey Bunch. Great to see you guys. Thanks for being here as well. Mickey Bunch. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Good to see you guys. So um, the person that I got my little gift from typically ninja watches. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and show you guys because I was so excited. I th I'm so impressed with this. Right? It's, I really it's, am. It was, yeah. Um, go, Mama. I'll let you show it. Okay. Christine Hickman, what's up? So, oh, I, don't, I left the card that goes with it downstairs. I pulled it out of the box. It was this adorable, adorable little um, birdhouse, and it has the two little Mickeys here. And she said that there's another it's hidden it's Mickey. It's got Dax in there. Look. And I know. Dax. I know. I know, right? And it has the dog. Mm. Oh, what are you doing? You can't do that. You can't do that. Look, I can do it. Look at that. Ha, 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 ha. I can do it. Okay. So anyway, um, super, super cute. I was totally excited about it. I'm like, this is never, ever going to touch the outside of my house. No birds are going to invade on it. Um, and then Kelly pulled out of the box and he was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, what? And I turn it around. Boom. Mama's craft and chat. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I was so, so excited. It was just, I love it. I love it. I love it. And so I sent her 
a um, a little something back with a note from me that just told her how much I absolutely appreciated it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that it. Will, that we will have to find a very special place for that. Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. And the, and the care and love that went into that, you can tell. And the do bug. I'm, I'm looking for the other hen and Mickey, though. Let me see. Well, I'm thinking. I think I see it. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I did. I too. think it's one of the flowers she painted on the side. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! It is adorable. It, it really is super is. adorable. I so love it. There's two, anyway, there's two Mickey's right there in the hearts. Why no? Mickey's in the hearts right there. It's super cute. I fell in love with it. Oh and yeah. She and she made it like she made, made it. Made it. Yes, which I think is even more amazing. So. Walter Grams, hey Dougie. Dougie says, "What's up, fellow nerds?" <laughs> what's going on? Not a lot, other than Dougie, what's we up? need to connect about. Um, so there's something new in the Myers and the Mouse world, um, and Tamari Photography and I, right? That's right, lingu language. I um, are doing a book club. So I needed. I wanted a reason to read because life gets busy and you know, I don't have time to read or I'll read later and then something happens. I wanted accountability for reading. So I asked Tina if that's something that she'd be interested in doing and she's like, oh, absolutely. So we are reading Sherlock Holmes, A Study in Scarlet. And it is, um, Sherlock Holmes of course is, takes place in the UK. Well, Dougie happens to love Sherlock Holmes. Really? So oh, I want Dougie. Dougie to be part of our group, um, but we have to like connect, connect on that. But with that said, it is open to anybody, anybody that enjoys reading. Um, we, every two week, or excuse me, every week we uh, discuss two to three chapters, depending on the chapter length. And um, I mean, it's just, yeah. Dougie says that is half I'm of an excellent it. book. Half of an excellent book. Mm -hmm. mm, what's the extra, what's the other half? You have to read it to find out, Mama. All right. You Surfer Girl, the suspense is killing me. You got to go get it, don't you? Is card? It? Oh, um, the card? No. Oh, oh yeah. I have to go get the card. I thought you meant the okay. other thing. So here, why don't you show I'll, I'll do this. So we recently had our anniversary, and I don't know if we showed these or not. If we didn't, we we're going to show them again anyway. <laughs> um, Producer Preston, what is going on? I was thinking about your dad again today, so I'm going to have to give him a call. Welcome in. Oh, Walter Graham says the second half is bad. Ooh, don't don't tell Mama. We'll see what happens. So we got this as one of our anniversary gifts from our family. We love this. It is absolutely cool. <laughs> no, this isn't a book club. Well, she's going to do a book club, I think is what she's going to do. So anyway... Is this is not precious? The little tackle box in there. Absolutely love this. And it has some special meaning because actually on our on our uh, honeymoon, we went fishing. <laughs> so we thought this was adorable. Person got that for us. Yes, it is a precious moment. Um we just we just thought we'd share it with you because it's Disney and it's it's just so cool. Just so cool little paddles. We also received from one of our family members this wonderful piece for our garden when we get down to Florida. And welcome to our garden. Isn't that sweet? It was very cute. We really much, very much like those presents. So we were excited about that and we wanted to show you. Mike Wheeler says, oh yeah, it's two, it's Mickey and Minnie Mike in a, um, and a little rowboat, and they've got little fishing poles, and there's actually, you can see the fishing line off the poles and the whole nine yards. It's a precious moment, um, memory. So it was very good. Yeah, Happy Hopper, the garden stone is pretty cool too. So we're excited about that. Thank you, Mickey Bunch. We we did, we celebrated on the 24th, our anniversary. Um, we've had several happy anniversaries coming in here recently. So um, we thought we'd share some of that. So another thing, and mama didn't tell me this, guess what came in the mail? Our D23 magazine. Now guys, if you have not done D23, it's a little pricey, but 
it is amazing. And we've shown you guys before the um, amazing pin set that we got for the anniversary last year. The, there was a lot of anniversary deals there. Um, but we also, um, we're getting ready to renew, which means we're going to get this year's gift as well. But this is 50 years. And it says right there, Walt Disney Archives preserving the magic. That's pretty cool. I think we should tell them that we came up with it first. No? Uh, anyway, I don't think that'll work out. So, Mike Wheeler says, if that's supposed to resemble you guys, isn't many supposed to be in the water? <laughs> yeah, mama paddle boarding doesn't go very well, does it? <laughs> wow. What's amazing about this it's magazine nice. is it actually has just some fantastic articles in it talking about Disney. But some of the pictures are incredible. Can you find it? Uh-oh. Well, I think the message has actually occurred through Instagram. Okay. So, 10 movies to stream on Disney Plus in these large pictures here. The Sound of Music, Captain Marvel, Frank and Ollie, The Reluctant Dragon, Bed Noms and Broomsticks. I haven't seen that in years. Star Wars, The Princess and the Frog, the Journey to the Center of the Earth from 1959 is now on Disney+. Plus. Inside and Out, great movie. Splash, if anybody remembers the movie Splash, that was a great movie with Tom Hanks. Love that movie. Teaches you never to fall in love with a mermaid, right? But this magazine... I wasn't allowed to watch that movie. Is, is, is very... I love the pictures in it because it does such a great job. It's actually talking about some of the merch throughout the years. It talks about the Disneyland merch, the auctioneer pirate sculpture from 1980. There is a Pirates of the Caribbean cuff and tie clip links from the late 1960s. I think that's pretty cool. Charm bracelet from the 1950s. A charm bracelet from the 1950s. That's so cool. Disneyland in 1950 had over 200 tattoos from Disneyland. I don't know if you all can see that, but there's some pretty cool stuff. It just it goes through some of the vinyl records and just different things where you could buy. Like there's Tinkerbell's wand that you could buy, and that was in the 1950s. Just some really cool stuff. Hi, Shelly. Everybody enjoying the mouse house while I write questions for them. Ha, ah, Pete. Hi, Pete. Guys, we're going to be on Hello. with Pete McDevitt oh, God. in the hot seat tomorrow. Tomorrow night. You do not want to miss that. So if you're not subscribed to Pete, make sure you go out there to Pete McDevitt. Subscribe to his channel so you can see us in the hot seat. Not going to lie. I'm kind of nervous. So yeah, I think everybody is. Talks about... Many of the new stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. And guess what else it talks about in this one? Talks about the Muppets. And we just got through doing the Muppet Awards with Pete McDevitt. And so we have some of those amazing people in here today as well. My mac and cheese. There is Beaker and Honeydew. What is this picture book time? Yeah. I'm kind of just showing picture in the magazine. Papa Mouse. We've loved the D D23. It, it has been a stuff. very uh, magical, magical thing to do. Super um, the, the, interesting. This prop show that is on Disney Plus, if you have not seen this, it is really good. If you have not checked out the prop show on, on Disney Plus, you, you need to because it's really fun. He goes back and finds props that were lost or believed to be lost, things like the... Mary Poppins umbrella. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was, um, that was a good one. Um, but there's all kinds of interesting things. So then there's some statistics. Like there were number of original staff members. One, his name is Dave Smith. Number of colored pencils on Walt Disney's formal office desk, 35. 7,725 initial number of images of Walt Disney identified by the company photography collections in 1970. 20, approximately 20 
cost, film costumes collected by the archives pre-2007. As of today, they've now collected over 10,000 costumes from all the Disney shows and movies. Approximately 50 film props, 38,000. That was by 2007. Now they've collected 38,117. That's a lot of stuff. As of 2019, there are 290 Disney legends inducted into the Disney Legends Hall of Fame, basically. That's crazy. Um, that's just that's just really cool. They've collected over 96,000 still images, 22,000 digital video files, and they found over 20 million negatives, prints, and born digital files for the Fox Archives digital, digital collection. That's pretty cool. This is just a, it's a great magazine. Highly recommend it. No, we don't get paid for that. <laughs> All right. What did you get in the mail this week, Mama? Or what did you find? Did you find oh, your you message? Other... Yeah, I did find the message. Um, it's Arlene. And I'm not going to say her last name because I don't know if, she, if that's okay with her. Um, but her name is Arlene. And she sent me, um, she let me know that I was expecting the the package and it says hello mama i hope this note finds you feeling better i'm praying for a speedy recovery i also wanted to let you know that i have made something for you and it should arrive on saturday i do hope that you will enjoy my gift it is just a little something to let you know how much i appreciate you and all that you do to make people stay a little bit brighter again i hope you enjoy my gift thank you love and blessings to you arlene so i just thought it was so awesome, and I absolutely loved the birdhouse. It was amazing. Absolutely. Then the mail did not stop there. Oh, the Mickey Bunch says they're working on strawberry moonshine. No, 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 what, no. Did I miss something? I'm like, that sounds good to me. My my um, my response to that was going to be mac and cheese and strawberries are a great combination. Now, the reason you look at puzzled like that is because Candy calls, Candy Mom calls, the Mickey Bunch, her mac and cheese. Oh. So Mickey Bunch apparently calls Candy Mom sunshine or uh, strawberry moonshine. <laughs> so I just threw it all together and said, strawberry moonshine goes really good with mac and cheese. It's a great combination. Anyway. So you got this in the mail. So yeah. Oh, well, somebody that... said Funko. So mm -hmm. all right. So I got this little ditty. Isn't he cute? <laughs> like the whole rest of the world has one. But um, he's adorable. I do love him. He sat and uh, we played my game on my phone last night. He's quite cute. I love his little eyeballs. So I know several of my friends have them. And when we all get together, we're going to take... Um, what quadru quadruplet photos of all of our baby Yodas. So it'll be fun. He's adorable. I do love him. And believe it or not, boys and girls, we could, where did we get him? Did we get him from the Disney store, right? Mm, yes, we did. We did get him from the Disney store. Okay. So yeah, he was Disney and store. And he came like quick. Yeah. We probably had him in four days. I was surprised. So anyway, he's adorable. I don't let the dog anywhere near it. Because I don't want him to eat it like he did Forky. He so. is he is pretty cute. He's it's pretty it's cool. kind of hard to. He sits by himself. Like he doesn't have to have this the thing. He can just sit. But and he do, but he doesn't have legs, so don't be disturbed. So anyway, hi Russ. Good to see you. Diz our dream. Welcome in. Sorry, I got a work nope, text you're okay. message. I I saw that. You're fine. It's also from the general manager, so. You take care of what you need to take care of. Okay. And this came in. We've wanted this. And so I just had to finally get it. We blame... Producer present. do I think he is cuter than me? We blame Monarch yes. Moments <laughs> and Dizar Dream for our most recent obsession with Funko Pops. It is their fault. We can't go to a store now without... Looking for Funko looking Pops. Looking to see. We went to Michael's yesterday. <laughs> score by the way don't <laughs> go there to buy funko pops <laughs> and they had funko pops and oh my god you guys guess what i almost i almost asked kelly if we could get it but it was a little bit pricey they have paint your own funko pops oh yeah even better yet they have paint your own disney funko pops 
you're like the person opening the candy wrapper in the middle of the movie theater. I'm sorry. You know what? It's worse than that. It's in the middle of a church. <laughs> anyway, um, I almost asked Kelly if I could get one to do with you guys on Preserving the Magic. But um, it was 15 uh, it was 18. Was it 18? 18 dollars. That's why I said don't go there to buy Funko Pops. They're expensive. There. No, no, the pinch your own Funko. It was like 18. It was 18. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we decided mm, a 20 dollar project for preserving the magic yes. probably isn't. They're basically. They're normal size white, Funko Pops. Normal size Funko Pops. And you can go in and you can paint them yourself. Monarch Moments has one. Oh yeah. Yeah. DIY Funkos, they are cool, Monarch Moment says. I know. That would be so awesome. I think Steve Steve's World needs one. That's a good idea. I know, right? I'm still waiting on... Hi, Disney Grandma. Good morning. Some of our stuff. What is going on, Disney Grandma? Yeah, who was it? Barnes & Noble was having... Candy Mom, what was their sale the other day that you sent me? She sent me a, a thing. <laughs> it was funny. She sent me a message and it said, Funko Pops are on sale at Barnes & Noble. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's not... Producer Preston's so. look on Amazon. No, Preston. <laughs> Not Amazon, Preston. No, it, it, Wrong company. It, 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 well, it don't matter. It's the whole, I don't want to, if I give her access to Amazon. Oh, Amazon Amazon Prime is the bomb. That'll be like two or three Disney trips we don't take. It's the bomb because you can get what you want like right there. I, yeah, Monarch Next Moments. Day. That's true. We got like a, we got 30% off. Um, the stuff we bought. We bought you some crafting stuff. We did. I got a new toy. Yep. Yep. Russ, I got a new toy. I'm so it's excited. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So you want to show them the one we recently okay. got? Now, so, some people yes. have this, but we, we really wanted this one. So we got the Jungle Cruise. Oh, the Jungle Cruise Funko um, vehicle. This is part of their vehicle line. They have, um, they have some other ones that are the vehicle for for Disney. Um, I, I love it. I, I don't recommend putting it in the bathtub to see if it floats. It'll probably have the same outcome that the one did where the people got a little wet. <laughs> so I don't know. This might float. Mama and Papa would like to have money to move to Florida eventually one day. Yes. Um, we have the move. Um, ready when things are yeah. ready roundabout on the calendar so i love it it's it's cute i love the whole thing on the top like that's adorable now if it just would have came with the back side of water that would have been perfect <laughs> wait what mark moment says yes awesome funko lol bathtub are you are you kidding did you guys see if yours would float i could i could see you doing that oh his little head turns too. look his little head turns you can so if you display him, you can turn his head one way or the other. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, look at that. And over here is the backside of water. And here's my crash plane. And here's my... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Take my advice and do not apply for a Jungle Cruise captain position with Disney. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I would enjoy that greatly myself. So, Mike, are you saying slimmer down on the Funko Pops? <laughs> <laughs> Mike says, do whatever you got to do. Just get here. That's what Mike says. Yep. Agreed. Oh, wait. wait. So. Is that the back room? Oh, God. Oh, easy. He's a mess. Well, I'm thinking of your craft stuff, Mama, but that's okay if you don't want me to think about your craft. Stuff. Hey, I'm thinking it should have the backside of water. Oh, now look at that. Ain't that cute? You could do something with that. I could. That is cute. That is cute. That is really cute. You could use that as a scrapbook page. That would be a really cute scrapbook page. Okay. Mama, now you have to craft the backside of water. I do. I could. That would be easy. I could do that. Uh, Mama, I have like a hundred Funko Pops. Oh, Preston. Wow, buddy. Preston, Preston you need to do like a, Preston a show. Preston just got the baby Yoda. The 10-inch. Oh, the 10-inch? Oh, mm -hmm. Like that one? Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Delacue. 
That is awesome, Preston. Preston, you need to do a um, do a stream with all of your Funko Pops. That would be so fun. I love this. Departing Daylight. Yeah, it's super cute. It's super cute. Is that the only Funko we got this week? Oh Someone my gosh. Little, went a little know. Funko Pop crazy. He was ordering Funko Pops. I don't know. This so, is still one of my favorite ones. I love this one. I don't I know. I haven't even taken it out of the box. I'm very partial to Forky. And this was a gift. And this kind of got the whole thing started. It was actually our very first one. Does our dream is to blame? I love it. I think it's awesome. I should probably look for more. I think there's a Donald one too, if I remember right. A Donald firefighter? Yes. Hmm. I'll have to go look. Interesting. So the another Chiking bones. Oh, Welcome in. How do y'all? So I'm wishing I was at Disney today. Me too. Love Jeff stream from Disney Springs this morning. Me too. Yep. Yep. Diz our dream. They're great friends of ours. Guys, if you haven't checked out, there's a couple in here. Diz our dream. You've got monarch moments that are friends of ours. Please make sure you check them out. They they're awesome. Hitchhiking boats. Thank you. I love this shirt. Mike Wheeler, just so you know, I am wearing my mama mouse shirt that you gave me today. This is this is on our in our new on our merch on our merch yep. shop. And our I, I love it. I love it. Um oh uh -oh, we're getting the flocked again. Oh, what happened? What did you do? Well, that isn't it. Yep. <laughs> yes, Mike, I have two flocked pops. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go Thanks. Again. <laughs> Thanks, producer Preston, for bringing that up again. So, Mike Wheeler did. Mike Wheeler did right there. Yep. Okay. Way to go, Mike. Um Flocked is not a zip slip. Flocked means like fuzzy. Like this is fuzzy. It's not really flocked. But if I shaved this like I did Kelly's head, <laughs> it would be flocked. Great. So when I get my hair cut now, I'm flocked? <laughs> You're going to be flocked. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even going there. This is kind of flocked right there. No, flocked is like it's like fuzzy. No, it's like it's velvet. Joey's world. Yep, it's a flocking good time. It's a flocking good time. <laughs> oh, Somebody said dear. we had one that was flocked, didn't do, we? We don't have a flocked one, do we? Forky's no, not flocked. No, and Olaf's not flocked. Olaf is not flocked. No, and neither is. We don't have a flocked one. Is Sven flocked? No, Sven's not flocked. Oh, but Sven would be cute if he was flocked. Anyway, it's a thing. <laughs> it's it's, a, it's thing. a thing. So for mods out there, don't be deleting people that say the word flocked in chat because it's not as if uh... oh yeah. What? Your hair is flocked and your eyebrows are fleeked. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, that's fantastic. Baby Yoda's not flocked. You think so, he'd be flocked. Something new coming to Myers and the Mouse um this afternoon. I am going to open my Etsy shop. So, um, and I will probably do a live stream um, announcing it and kind of um, giving you guys a tour, I guess, of my Etsy shop. So I'm kind of excited. It is going to be cards and um, scrapbook pages by the page. Like they'll do like two pages a set of them anyway at a time so hopefully uh, people will enjoy those but you know what this is right what's the dis and that does anybody know who this is Who's he? oh well let's see if anybody in chat knows who this is i think i do monarch mom says yay mama's mouse shop yeah i hope so i hope it gets a good um I almost said review. Reception. I hope people I can't enjoy it. Mom <laughs> says, I'm so <laughs> fucking excited. Oh, the things that we start. Minnesota yeah. Martha. There she is. Bam. Minnesota Martha. Hello. It's Zippity it's Zip. Doodad when he's doing his, his news announcer thing, right? <laughs> Put a mustache on it and call it. Call it good. No, call it a. Who's the lawyer? Sal. Sal. Put a mustache on it. And call He's it on retainer. Can't fucking Happy wait. Hopper, fucking wait. Monarch moments. You're welcome. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. Monarch moments. Like I think every week, don't you guys? You guys present a Funko Pop every week, don't you? Isn't that holy cow? It's already been thirty minutes. Um, 
Minnesota Martha says, my ninja sister told me. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, nice job. Disney grandma says, yes, this and that. Yeah, my What's brothers, that? they will be up and running this Do week. Do we have koozies? We don't have koozies. We don't have koozies. Nope. Nope. We'll look into that, though. Yeah. No, we have coffee mugs. We, we have, have mugs. bell or the bell jar. Ball. Ball jar. Ball jar cups. Looks like a ball canning jar, but it's got a handle on it. Okay. I'll show you. No, don't show me. Just keep going. <laughs> it's okay. I can do it without shutting down the stream this time. Uh, Mama, go read Mr. Willie's comment about Airwolf. There's always a which, comment about Airwolf. Which Mr. Com Mr. Willie combat? <laughs> keep the live stream PG. Airwolf needs to wax his nose hair. No. Mike Wheeler, I know you've been on a campaign for that for a year and a half. I'm not doing the nose hair thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, not going to happen. Yeah, it was kind of funny. It is kind of funny. I will admit. Hashtag one topic off topic. Hashtag plastic belt. Plastic belt. That's just because Preston has to make sure he gets that in there. Yes, he does. What, why are you... I because. guess we're going to show you guys our merch shop. guess that's a thing. <laughs> Are we? Apparently, that's what you're doing. I can do that. So share screen. Here. So we do have a merch shop. And there's two logos. There's a white logo and a black logo. So if you have a darker shirt, you need the white logo. And if you have a lighter shirt, you want to have the, the darker logo. The darker logo. So um, but there's all kinds of things on here. There's sweatshirts. Just add them to the cart. You can always move them around. What there's did Mike Wheeler say? Oh, I didn't start it this time, he said. <laughs> Tank tops. See, look at the bag, ladies. Look at that bag. And can't you... You can resize you the can resize images the a little image. bit. You can make the image bigger. If you want them a little smaller, you can move them. You can actually move them around. You just go to edit image, and it'll let you move them around. We have coffee mugs, different colors of coffee mugs. White, blue. Different hats. The hats I'm excited about. There's a baby... Once, once leave. There's a, the, there's another tote. It's so cute. I like the totes. There's a water bottle. There's a duffel bag. The duffel bag would be a fun carry on. I love the little dog bandana. That's cute. There's a baby bib for when you get old. I can't wait for tomorrow to see Airwolf sweat during the hot seat with Pete. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. I'm honestly a little nervous about the whole and thing. I, oh, I, a pillow. You didn't know we had pillows? No. <laughs> we have pillows. Backpack. Okay, backpack. We need that for the park. $30. I think we do. Stocking caps. Lots of sweatshirts because you know Papa Mouse likes his sweatshirts. Might have to get Mama a polo shirt. Yeah, I like the polo. It's cute. But look at that bag right there. Fanny pack. The canvas backpack. The canvas backpack's nice. That's nice. It actually, it actually is very nice. Yeah, I like that. And the little purse. Look, oh, it's a lunch bag. Oh, carry -all look, the carry-all pouch is out of stock. And a bandana. I thought we had masks. We do. Um, let me go to the other. Did I miss it? Well, the masks... Or white. Ah. So you have to use the dark color. So you go to the dark color one. See, like there's a white mug. Mug with the dark, yeah. I think this is the one that has the ball jar. Canning jar? Yeah, it's like a canning jar. Why are you calling it a ball jar? Because it's ball. Ball is the name of the company. Oh, okay. So that's all oh, right. What are those? Those are buttons. Oh, look at that. There's a travel mug. That's cute. I think I need one of those. <laughs> you need one more travel mug. Kelly, is it just you or is it Mama going to be there too? It. I'm assuming it's, it's both. It's of us. both of us, which is going to make it even more awkward. But it can be just Kelly. That's fine. There's an iPhone six 
Myers in the mouse cell phone case, mouse pad. <laughs> mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended, right? Mouse That's pad. Funny. Mouse pad. This art room's like, ooh, look at the canvas bag. I know, right? I love the canvas bag. If there's something you see out there that you want that you don't don't yeah, see, let me know and if I can get it. Please. What? Where? I want to zip up fleece. Where do you see that? There isn't one. That's my whole point. Oh. See? Yeah, it's a canning it's jar. It's a mason jar. Ma yeah, it's a mason jar. Mm -hmm. Not right a there. ball jar. I'm sorry. We actually, we've sold one of these. <coughs> Bless you, Mama. There's a little bit more with the darker logo. There's Ooh, socks. look at the <laughs> white canvas. Yep. That's kind of cool. Not white, but you know. Tan. Yeah. And um, you can adjust the size of this. If you want to make it a little bigger, you can. But there's different colors. Yeah, and like see, that. that's where you have to use the, the white the white logo, logo unless you the black. Yeah. And they and they'll tell you. They'll actually, if you order something, they say, hey, that's not going to show up well. They'll actually tell you and you can change it. There's a tote or a lunch bag. There's the, one of the masks. Yeah, see, those are, um, I, the masks that I make are Ooh, different styles. The Chiking Bone that, says but... it could be a care jar. That's a jar company too. Oh, there yeah. you go. Could be. So there you go, boys and girls. There's the. <laughs> There's this spread shirt shop. Caitlin, we were just talking about being in the hot seat tomorrow. Yes. So it's a little, little scary. Not going to lie. Well, you know, Pete, Pete likes to run the line. So it'll be interesting because I don't think I got anything to hide. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, mama. I'm going to see how you, right. you answer some of these questions. This ought to be interesting. I don't know. Just make sure. I don't know. <laughs> the hot seat's going to be interesting. It's it's going to be reactions on Mama's face will be priceless. Oh Lord, producer Preston. Yes, it will. I am scared. It will. So that's uh, that's all the stuff. What else did you want to talk about? You had something else you want to talk about? I think. Well, um, we can bring up like a sad moment, I guess. Oh. Hi, hope. George. How are you? George, Welcome what's in. going on? Mike 88. Great to see you. Hi, Mike. What's and sad? Go ahead. Make it blue. Hello, hello. Um, so I'm sure you guys have heard already that Disney's changing their hours again in September. Yes, they are. So that's kind of sad. Um, they're actually reducing their park hours so an hour less for <clears throat> animal kingdom and magic kingdom um and i think it's an hour less for um hollywood studios but it's two hours less for epcot so i was feeling a little frustrated about that it could be a little frustrating but I haven't it heard why they're doing it yet. If it's for safety reasons, for the cast members or cleaning, I don't know. I don't know either. My Katie says, just keep tomorrow PG. Yeah, we're, <laughs> that's what we're open for. It's not us. You have the to worry The only thing about. they are lowering are the hours, not the prices. That is uh, right. That's right. That's what kind of makes it sad. It's, yep, super sad. Nana Barb, hello. So Disney Plus has released a <laughs> lot of stuff coming out. But... <laughs> they did. Um, so like Mulan, right? Mulan oh, is getting ready to come that. out on the news today. Um, a movie theater. They, yeah. A movie theater owner showed his frustration with Mulan only being released to Disney plus and not in theaters. And he took a baseball bat to one of those great big wall size. Why are you looking at me? wall size um displays and it was hysterical i laughed i'm like wow buddy so yeah. but anyway but yeah. it's being released on disney plus but there is an additional fee you have a rental fee for um for renting it it's not just oh really yes i have to i haven't looked at that so yeah so 
they're releasing here in August. Uh, Phineas and Ferb, the movie, Candace Against the Universe, Hidden Kingdoms of China, Muppets Now, um, some more Pixar and real life stuff. Um, there is a new one coming out called Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The Adventure Awaits. So it's all going to be all about Galaxy's Edge and things about that there. Wait, like the actual part of the park, Galaxy's mm -hmm. Edge? Oh. Yep. That's kind of cool. Yeah. The the Greatest Showman. Hi, Isaac. Released August. Releases August 14th. I thought that was already on there. Um, Back Alice to through, the Titanic. Alice... Alice Through the Looking Glass. Beauty and the Beast is coming mm. back. Back to the Titanic. That's interesting. Yeah, Russ, it's an, it's an extra $30 for Mulan. Is it really? Yeah, but when you think about it, if your whole family is going to sit down and watch it, you're money ahead, plus you're not exposing yourself to unwanted uh, illnesses. That is true. You and don't have to listen to other people crunch their popcorn. The question for me is, is that a one-time showing or you get to watch it as much as you want if you pay that? I don't know. Because if it was released on DVD, you'd pay 20 something for it. I don't know. Russ, do you know? That would make, that would be curious. Disney to find minds want to know. So there's some new stuff coming out on Disney Plus. I'm kind of looking forward to. I still am I'm pleased with that, that there's so much content on Disney Plus. Um, so that's kind of exciting. Where did you go to see the new releases? Where did you go to see that? Um, I went. There to I just typed in uh, new this month on Disney Plus. Oh, in Google. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it'll so cost it's you right an there. extra thirty dollars to watch the film if you haven't watched the original. If you haven't seen the original version of Mulan, it follows. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who hasn't oh. seen Mulan? Rachel Where's says you get trailer? to watch it for as long as you have Disney Plus. We're assuming you'll use the payment card that you have on file with the option to pay with a different card. Um, well, I only have to pay to watch Mulan once. As long as you maintain your Disney Plus subscription, you only have to pay it once to watch this film as many times as you'd like. Wow. That's a if pretty you, cool deal. If you cancel your subscription, though, you will have to resubscribe and repurchase it. Studios is going to be 10 to 7, where it used to be 10 to 8, I think. Oh, wasn't times? It? Yeah. I mean, it's just an hour, but still, it's an hour. No one knows this though. You can now, if you have Disney Plus, you can actually download movies to like a tablet or something, like for road trips and things like that with your family. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that with Milan though. Um, Russ Stapleton, I don't understand what you're saying. It was only a matter of time before they were going to start doing the live stream thing. We were talking about it when I was still working for Disney Studios. Oh, we're talk he's talking about. I think I did, Russ. I'm assuming you're talking about Disney Plus. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, I'm kind of excited for Mulan to come out. Mulan was one of the girls' favorite Disney movies back when they were um, when they were kids. So I think it'll be interesting to see their take on it from watching it as a child and then watching. Watching this as an adult, I think it'll be, I think it'll be interesting. So there is a a an interesting. It depends on how much Disney history you like. If you if you uh, know who Howard Ashman is, he was the person that uh, wrote songs such as uh, from the Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. Um, he died tragically in 1991 with complications due to HIV. There is an actual movie about him and his life. So if you're interested in that, that that's going to be coming out on Disney Plus as well. I, I like history. I like watching things like that, too. I'm going to make sure we say hi to the Hitchhiking Bones. I'm not sure if we... I actually did. I said hi to you earlier. Okay, good. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Rachel Fithian, what's up? He's standing up on his own now. Thanks for asking, Mike Wheeler. He certainly keeps us on our toes. <laughs> Awesome. That's good stuff. Yeah, the, the shortened hours, I was already, and I, I, if you've been with us for a while, you know that I was always pretty vocal about the fact that you used to be able to go to the Disney Park. You could be there till 2 o'clock in the morning if you're staying on property. Um, you know, be in the park at 8 o'clock in the morning and still be there till 2 o'clock in the morning. And it was really 
you really got value for your ticket price. And then they started backing it up. And then they started doing the special ticket offerings where you had to pay an additional $100 a person to stay in the parks after 8 p.m. Um, and that's always kind of been a stickler with me that I understand it's a money-making thing, but I no longer feel like I get a good value for my ticket price because of things like that. And now here we're dealing with the pandemic, which we're in new territory here, but here's what it's teaching Disney that they'll still pay the ticket prices that we're paying now to go to the parks for eight hours in a day. Well, if they go to eight hour days, you could easily eliminate positions and jobs and cast members. You can save money. You can, and still make the same amount. You'll make more money actually, because you're not paying CMs to be there. And that's sad to me. Um, I'd like Disney to get back to having value for their ticket prices and, and keeping the parks open until 11, 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> we complained when they stopped staying open until two in the morning. Yeah. I mean, it's just <laughs> like, man, I, I, I just, I just feel that they could do a little bit better with that. I think they could give us a little more value for our tickets um, because people will do it. The hitchhiking boat says, I remember when you could stay in the parks till the wee hours too. I mean, yeah, like there 2 was, yeah, there was many mornings that they would close at midnight and we were still there at two o'clock in the morning. Well, but then they had the deals where they were open till 2 a.m. Yeah, we're, they did. Yeah, Magic Kingdom. I, Candy Mom, I loved running around the parks at 2 a.m. We did too. I mean, and then they started doing the paid after hours events, which mm -hmm. everybody complained about when they went to that. But then we went to one and it actually is kind of cool. It, it was kind of cool, but. I can also remember at midnight, the park closed, but if you were on property, you could stay till 2 a.m. Yep. And if you stayed till 2 a.m., you could literally Extra go to Space hours. Mountain and just over and over and get and off over. of it. They, they make you get off that, that kind of stunk, but you get off, you go down, you go right back in, you get right back on. You could ride it four or five times in an hour. Easy. I saw some poor little soul doing a fundraiser and I'm like, what a brilliant fundraiser idea. I do have to add. Um, I don't remember what the channel was, but they're doing a fundraiser and the guy was writing small world from the time the park opened until the time the park closed. Oh my gosh. That's like some serious sacrifices there. That's, friends. that's an earworm for a month, but what a cool fundraiser to do like, I don't know. That's just, I think that's a really cool fundraiser I, idea. I would, there would have to be stipulations. Like what? You can wear earplugs? Like you can't wear earplugs. <laughs> you got to you gotta listen to the song. If it gets stuck, so be it. We've been stuck on Small World for what, 20 minutes? I don't know. Too long. Whoa. But it was a really cool fundraiser idea. I'm, I'm ready to do a Give Kids the World fundraiser. Um, I just don't know that this is a good time for it because they, they're not open. So. I, I, I. I think wow. right now we need to do everything we can to help them because they're not open. The sooner they can get open and they can get more kids in there to give kids the world, um, the better. I mean, I, I think it's a good thing. I can't wait to get down to Florida so we can start doing volunteering a little more there. volunteering mm -hmm. there um, because it is absolutely amazing place. We are ambassadors of give, give, give kids the world. We are. Um, so um, I thought yeah. that was pretty cool. That was cool. So, so we're looking forward to being there so we can do some volunteering. But it will be fun. It, will, it be will be fun. It will be fun. So anyway, we'll have to kind of put our heads together and come up with a um, fundraiser. Tracy Glenn's here. So hi, Tracy. You had some fire station work to do. Well, we appreciate your volunteering of your time and your family's time. Penguins Master, uh, hello. Thing you do, Tracy. Thanks for being here. We have 33 people watching this morning, guys. Thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate you being here. Um, Rachel says, I would love to volunteer there, Mama Mouse. Yes. Um, Who? We're looking. I'm, I said Rachel, and I apologize. It was Caitlin. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, did I see that? Miss that somewhere <laughs> no. else? It was Caitlin. Sorry. Yeah, Caitlin, um, it's, it's, I don't know if you've ever been there, but it is an amazing, amazing place, all that they do. Um, I sent a DM to you. Oh, Candy Mom. <laughs> Sorry. None my business. None, yeah. None, none my business. 
Yes. Rachel goes, I would too. <laughs> oh, okay, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's sorry. it's an amazing place. I'm sorry, Rachel. Um, it's a place where you walk in and there is nothing that says Disney. There's nothing that says Universal. There's nothing that says SeaWorld. But if you pay close attention, you'll see the buildings were, that they're built there. You could tell that Imagineers were involved in it. You can mm -hmm. see some of the Universal touches in it as well. Um, the miniature golf course. Mm-hmm. Is done in dinosaurs. Jurassic, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yes. And they had this one dinosaur that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> what was funny was the kids and I played it while mama was, was at, at a meeting. meeting and getting our tickets and all that stuff. Well, we said, come on, you got to go play this with us. So we took her in there and you stand right there. And we knocked the ball in the hole. And when we did, this dinosaur comes out of the bushes at her and has got steam coming out of his mouth. It's just, yeah. I wish we were live streaming back I then because it was precious. Blood curdling scream. It was crazy. Um, Mike Willer says he's volunteered there twice. It's, it's, it's amazing, isn't it, Mike? I mean, there's not words to describe all the amazing things they do for the kids. I think the, the, Funnest part for me was the fact that the ice cream shop opens like at 6 a.m. Right. Ice cream for breakfast. The shirts all say ice cream for breakfast. Those kids yep. literally can have anything they want. They can have as much ice cream as they want. Yep. And once you've been a family that's been invited there, you only get to go one time as a family and stay there. Mm -hmm. But you can visit any time and they'll let they you come in and have lunch. Awesome splash pads and swimming pools. Yes, they do. Because so. they're designed for... Children special in needs. wheelchairs right. and special needs. And it's it's amazing. They do have medical staff on mm -hmm. on property. Yep. It, it's it is. It's pretty great. Um, did I say hi to Griswold family vacations? <laughs> Russ Tableson says they have a giant candy land game there. Yes, they were actually being actually, ready to put that in. That was we one were. of the gifts that we got every day that we went back to the room. Um, so Taylor had a make a wish trip and his trip was, um, his wish was to fight Darth Vader in a lightsaber battle. So of course they sent us to Disney world to do the Padawan experience. So, um, every day when we came back to our, our cottage, they had gifts on our dining room table. And one of the gifts was a, um, give kids the give world, world candy yeah. game. And it was really, really cool. It was fun. So. Yes, yes, it's Choice World. They do have accessible rides and, and wheelchair accessible pools. And it is totally awesome. Hi, Griswold family. What's up? They have a little cart that little like golf cart things that comes around and it has breakfast items on it. If you don't want to go have a big breakfast down in the, in, I almost said chow hall. Down. In the, they, I think they actually called it, did the they chow call it a chow hall. hall. I think they did. <laughs> so anyway. Big mushroom room and. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it is truly If you amazing. want to know more about our experience, um, go back and look at some of our previous, we did a, a previous live stream. That was all it was about was. Give kids the give world. Give kids the world in our experience. And there's there. actually, we did, didn't we put on our channel, somewhere on our channel is Taylor's um, lightsaber yeah, battle his, with. His make a wish. Darth Vader. His make a wish thing carried out. Again, so. I wish, I wish we were live streaming back then because we would have, we would have definitely done some of that. So. Yeah. Make it blue says my cousin and her family texted me after the trip. And it was like, I get why you go to Disney and why it means so much. I, yeah. Um, it's pretty common. Um, people don't understand why you go to Disney. You've been there once. Why do you want to go again? Hi, Jonathan. Um, I will tell you, give a kids a world Vill village is one of those things that you want to go again. You definitely, because they make it so magical from the time you land at Orlando airport. They're there. Yeah. Um, we got there. We landed. They literally walk downstairs where the car rentals are. There's, they have a whole parking garage. It's nothing but these car rental companies. And their cars are parked in these rows in a, like a normal parking garage. And they literally looked at Taylor and said, okay, pick, a car. pick one. And he got to pick what we wanted. And of course, Hi, he Flinos. picked the, the convertible Corvette first. And Absolutely. we said, we're not all going to fit in that. The boy's got his mama's taste <laughs> in cars. So Rachel says, what is the process to be a volunteer? So Rachel, you contact Give Kids a World Village and uh, tell them that you would like to volunteer. I think they There's do kind of a background check, check just mm -hmm. to make sure everything's good. Um, if you do it through um, certain companies, um, they've already done that. And so you're already allowed to do that. Um, I think Walmart's one that that is like that, that you can go. 
Um, what's the place that fe that has all the food? Boston Market. Boston Market oh, provides yeah, Boston a lot of the Market. food. Oh my gosh! For yes. Give Kids World, if you work for them, you can you 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 were able to go volunteer there to serve food or however it is. But they said they had over twenty thousand volunteers a year mm -hmm. at this facility, and it's just amazing. And they 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 have. Uh, and you do like a one week commitment at a time, I think. Yeah, we we actually. Thanks. We were so intrigued by everything that was going on there. We actually talked to the guy that was driving the train. There's a train that actually drives around the property that picks you up and, and will take you, you go, to where the parking lots are or anything like that, mm -hmm. or to or Chow the Hall or, or the pool. Right. Um, and, and the train's set up to take handle a wheelchair if necessary. And mm -hmm. it, it was just really, really neat. It was fun. We were talking to the driver of the train and he said, I get two weeks vacation every year. And this is what I do on my vacation. I come down from wherever he lived, Connecticut or whatever, and he flies down there and he spends two weeks of his vacation volunteering at Give Kids World Village, which is just really cool. So really cool. guys, I will DM as we have a friend who is doing a huge fundraiser for Give Kids World Village, which of course is postponed, but it's a pretty epic thing he was supposed to do. Yeah, let us know. DM us. That'd be great. Absolutely. Um, I know, and I know most of you all know the Beverly Challenge that we did was forgive the kids world village and they they were so excited they said we have never had a fundraiser raise ten thousand dollars in an hour it was it was monumental for them and they were so impressed they say they have a lot of people that do a lot of different challenges um and and fundraisers for them and they actually said that most of them fall short of their goal not only did we exceed our goal but we did it in such a short amount of time that they were so impressed. And that's due to people like you who are watching our live streams and hanging out with us and, and doing things for us. So thank you. Mike 88 says, I had never heard of the kids world before joining this community, but my only trip was starlight children's foundation. And I'm so glad I found them through here. Oh, that's, that's really awesome. Cool. Yes. It, it is. It, it, we had never heard of it. We did not know a whole lot about it. We learned a lot about the Dream Factory and Make a Wish Factory, uh, uh, Make a Wish Foundation during our time dealing with Taylor and, and his struggles. And um, Make a Wish is was 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 it's changed. Make a Wish was for terminally ill children, and now they have since changed where they not only do terminally ill, but they'll do those with lifetime. Issues, health issues. Well, health issues like that are detrimental Correct. to your Correct. to your health. Dream Factory was basically the two organizations separated themselves by that. Dream Factory did critical ill, critically ill, so not lifetime be... illnesses. Right. Dream Factory did terminal illnesses right. and made sure those children were able to get to these events right. and do these things. So, like cancer or um, uh, MS, things like that where Taylor has muscular dystrophy, so which is MD, not MS. Um, and it wasn't something that was going to, at this point, we, we knew it was something that wasn't going to um, cause for him to die, but it was something that, it was an illness that he would struggle with for the rest of his life. So he qualified for that particular. And you don't you don't nominate yourselves. Right. Someone with uh, well, in the community has to nominate. Um, your child and we actually our nomination came from Taylor's school nurse. Yeah. And um, so we were we were super blessed. Very thankful. So because but it was a great also experience. Very humbling and sad to know that every child there is suffering from some type of a physical illness um, that they you know are not going to recover from. It's not like the flu where you're gonna get over it in two weeks. And they have almost two hundred families a week. A week. That, that stay there. and give the kids a world village. Right. It tells you how many sick kiddos there are in the world. So, yeah, I'm sad right now that it's closed and I can't wait for it to open back up so they can start making that magic and those dreams come true for those children all over again. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. okay. Well, we've been, it's been an hour already. It has been an hour, an hour plus, an hour and four minutes because we were early. <laughs> So yay to us. So what do you got coming up with preserving the magic? Are you going to show your new toys? Well, I am going to show my new toy. So excited. Um, I'll probably do a hangout with, with my buds and show them my new toy too. But um, 
I think this afternoon I'm going to work on getting my Etsy store up and going. And once I do, then I'll do a little pop-up live stream, giving you guys a tour of that. And then uh, Tracy, Tracy, do you go live? And Oh, Russ Stapleton at 3 p.m. Eastern. Oh, okay. So Russ apparently has a live stream at 3 p.m. Um, I'm so... Eastern time. I'm so confused. Stop confusing me, you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, I... Oh, God, you okay? I'm over Is it. it Tracy? Yes. <laughs> Mike says Russ Stapleton at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And then Tracy says only 15 minutes for me. He's only been here 15 minutes. He was at the fire station doing some stuff. Oh... You're so okay. pretty. Well, I didn't know. I didn't. I'm on a whole different page from y'all. Michelle the Coulter says, checked in late. Hope you have a great uh, weekend. Love to see your Etsy shop. I'm excited for your Etsy shop. You got I, Preserving I the Magic, crap, crop and Shops coming up. I hope so. I hope. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I know you're nervous about I'm, I'm nervous about almost. It's like a rejection thing. I think I'm just nervous about being rejected. Great. That means I'm going to be buying so. stuff. I'm going to have to create a fake name and buy stuff from her Etsy shop. <laughs> Stop it already. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't even know what I was gonna say, but so so, so this Monday week, is crop and shop. And Sunday, Sunday. Oh yeah, Sunday is the is hot seat with Pete, Pete McDevitt. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss that. Tonight, I think I'm on with Shep from the Shep family. Okay. Sunday is Pete McDevitt. Monday's crop and shop. Yep. Wednesday's preserving the magic. Yep. Thursday is dreaming with the mouse with Diz our dream. Make Are sure we going to be live from the park? Um, and is he going to be still be in Florida then? So make sure you're you're subscribed to them for our Thursday dreaming with the mouse, and then you've got the what? I'm caught I, up, and then next Saturday, Myers and the Mouse on Saturday, talking mm -hmm. Disney and all kinds of fun stuff with you all. Something, yeah, sure. Yeah. Make it blue says I'll definitely check out your Ah, oh, thanks guys. Caitlin, thank you. No, no Jeff, Jeff is flying, flying home, home on Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry to hear about that, but I hope really happy to see you. It's been too long. Oh, that's oh Blue Nose. Blue Nose is in here. I missed him. Yes. Blue Nose. Wait, it's been blue... saying prayers for you, brother. You hope you're hope you're doing okay. I apologize for not reaching out to you. It's been kind of crazy at the mouse house here lately. Yes. So it it's good to see you. We can probably put some hearts in the chat. Shows Blue knows some love there. He's been yes. under the weather. So we want to make sure that uh, he knows he's I'm super glad loved to and we're positive. I am too. I'm so. glad he's We worry, he's you guys. When you guys don't come into chat, we worry because we, I mean, we just do. We're like, Willie Parker hasn't been in the chat in a long time. I hope he's okay. So it's just a thing. So you're missed. Dougie, Dougie disappeared for a you're while right. and you were losing your mind. I, well, I messaged I know, him personally. Right? I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> I was freaking out. So yeah, it's, I don't know. You get this friend attachment and you care about, we, we care about you guys, legitimately care about you guys. So yeah, Russ Davidson <laughs> says, yes, and stream from the plane. I'm sure that's allowed. Just yeah. tell him to hang his head out the window with the phone. He'll get a better reception. I don't, yeah, no. <laughs> Not so much. All right, guys. So, we better well, let you go. We appreciate you. Down. What are you doing? And why are you being brr? <laughs> Thank you for all the hearts for Blue Nose. Blue Nose, we love you, brother. Take care of yourself. Everybody in chat, take care of each other. Say a kind word. Make sure you're nice. Be it's nice. nice. It's nice to, it's nice to help other people. Say kind words. Everybody's going through something right now. You don't know what it is. It's emotional, relationships, financial. Sometimes it just uh, says says a lot just by saying, hey, just checking on you. Hope you're doing all right. Check on each other. We appreciate you guys. Be safe. Take care of yourselves.